Hello there, folks. I'm Gabriel Gaming 5000K, and we're back with part nine of Let's Play Vampire. All right. Last time we made it to the Echelon Club, and we met up with our leader. So now we're gonna ask the locals about possible sources of infection in the West End. And my game is lagging. What the heck? What have we here? Stupid skulls over there. Okay, they can disappear. But I advise you to watch out for stupid frogs. Poison gas. So annoying. Get your hands off me, stupid skulls. Why do these guys have to be this annoying? They rough? Alright. Get your hands off me, stupid skull. Oh, she resisted. Get back! Yeah, and speaking of sickness... We're gonna go find Clay Cox, Booth Digby, and Rodney. wrong with you? Stop that counter. What are you doing? So, we should head to the North Docks right about now. Okay, we made it to the other side. We're heading to Whitechapel. I can check my map really here. Let's check around in White Chapel, shall we? When you. Okay. Let's check on the citizens menu one last time, please. Where's Harry? Alright, let's go talk to Mason. Now that we got this text in Braille. We're gonna fend off these skulls. Out of my way, skull, skull scum. Oh my god, 
blink her skull. Oh, he gets blood. Ouch. Come back here, you vampire magician. There we go. Oh, great. Not those big beasts again. Why do they have to be this annoying? Hey. Ow! Quit, quit biting me! You're about to go kaput. When I do this. And that! That. Good riddance. <laughs> to break some objects over there. Oh. Not these disgusting poison skulls. Why does she always resist? At least I still have a lot of power. Oh! We saw it coming. <laughs> Let's see if I can change the map. Then how about this? Nice. Let's go over there. <sighs> so that was the door to the other side. And then its effectiveness has been proven by many. Even the flu is no match for the Swanborough Cordial. Shaoshan. There's Albert. gonna look around some more but for now I think 
I'm gonna go check on this map. There's Harry. He's in the building where I go up. Good evening, Harry. May I come in? Sure. Sure. He thought I was gonna Even my form XP. Soaked with glue. So, may I ask? I'm not bothered. Let's see here. Do you need any medical help, young man? Yes, I do. I feel so tired. I don't know if it's the epidemic, but everything seems so hard. Very hard. You'll feel better with... I'm not sure I'm happy. Have you any recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Nobody dares to enter the dispensary now. Rumors say the nurse has gone mad. Completely mad, if you ask me. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Yes, sir. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. Okay. There we go. Gotta bring back the brown note to Mason. These shadow icons. Wow, they sound like Rex Raptor from Yu Gi Oh! That's it. Now I'm mad. Chopping shadows. Spike Bloods. That comes to starting to annoy me. Yeah, not Ekans from Pokemon. The snake Pokemon. The this vampire. It's supposed to dodge. What are you trying to do? Blood spears are getting on my nerves. <laughs> Is him twitching like a rag doll? Ah. Okay. But I digress. Good evening, Mr. Is it you? What kind okay. of gentleman pays visits to people at this late hour? What can I... I found another page of the diary, Mr. Swanborough. This diary is still not complete. The man who wrote it claims he is a member of some scholarly brotherhood called the St. Paul's Stole. Really? I've heard of them. Very capable scientists. Perhaps the man who wrote this really found a cure. I would need more pages to figure it out, but... It's as promising as it is intriguing. All right, what's next? Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. Tell me, how do you see the world these days? Okay. Seems like we're going to have to go look for the last braille text that we are. Gotta cure clay. Wandering in this part of town at night, you're either brave or a fool. He can't. You're mine. Whatever. Shadows. Uh, 
What is wrong with you? Get away from me. Serves you right, you econ freak. Streaming. track right now. It ain't human. Get it. Oh, filthy piece of oh. shit. My game is lagging like a girl now. Take that. That's the door to the other side. Uh oh. Now then. This is where we fought Mary last time. She's gone. Got him. Why are there pre winds controlling the grave? That's high resistance, that's for sure. Those blood. Yeah, he's finished.
that hurt. All right, now I'm mad. What's up with that wild roar trying to stun me? move on me last time I fought Mary. I have this thirst for blood. I cannot enter. No, you can't. But let's see. Probably going to that sewer. I'm gonna check in the sewers to find that that Braille text me that text message in Braille for Mason. Load, please. <laughs> Sewer. We're back to the same one as Last we were last time. Spotted. Yeah, I'm not a leech. Gotcha. Oh my god. Blinker skull and a beast? Fast, all right. <laughs> You're finished. Streaming. Wait, streaming. Wait, D don't come in. Don't come in, I'm trying to stream. Wait, sorry, I'm trying to stream. Alright. I got distracted. Die, lady! <laughs> Oh. 
Braille. Yay. I should bring this to Mason Swanborough. That's it. Found it. It's locked, all right. Hmm. That door requires a code to enter in this area. Okay, now we're gonna give that to Mason. I might have missed that one. All right. Personally, I'm gonna have to go back to Whitechapel from now on. Deal with you guys. Oh no, not these. Those guys are gone. Where did you come from? Go away. You have to push me. Oh my god! How do you like that? Alright. Now let's go. Temple. It's locked. Yep. Most definitely locked. Oh no, blinker skull. Herman. This is despicable. Very despicable.
Turn around, blood. Turn around, sir. I'll put an end to you. I'll put an end to you too, punk. Good riddance. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> what is falling? It's making my allergies worse. Why are you loading? Oh. It looks like we're gonna head back to the hospital. We're heading back to the hospital so that we can cure Clay. It's fatigue right now. Oswald. Hello there. Hey, Newton. We were supposed to be saved. Please load. <sighs> da -da -dum. Load, please. Ba -ba -dum. I can't. I can't hey, listen. Doc. You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? Consider yourself lucky that I'm treating all of my yes, patients yep. equally. But don't push your luck. Don't play the innocent with me. I'm sure you have good reasons to act this way. And also weaknesses that can be exploited. Yeah. True. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. Okay, we just cured Clay. Alrighty, folks, we cured Clay. So, so from now on, we're gonna head back to Whitechapel so that we can get this text to Mason. Biting. Why is this loading screen starting to annoy me? Ah! <laughs> 
so that I have to go over there. What are you doing? Go away! I'm sure these prunes are gonna suck that beast if you ambush me. There's one of them! Watch yourselves! Alright. First I got shot, now this loading screen distracts me. I'm not a leech, I'm a vampire. Stupid fire! Die! This ought to teach you a lesson, you annoying punks. Alright. Keep going. Alright, we're going to see Mason once again. Good evening. Is it you? Wandering in this part of town at night, you're either brave. What can I do for you? I've been learned in. How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? I hear them hissing and scratching at my door every night. The sick made mad by the fever. But these walls are thick, and my lock is solid. Why does your sister feel so guilty about what happened to you? Because she knows I'll never forgive what she did to me. You run an illegal business with someone you hate? I don't hate my sister. She looks after me, we have a good time. But I'm just not ready to forgive her. True. He's not ready to forgive her sister. His sister, I mean. I think he's the oldest, I can tell. Here is another page of the diary we were talking about. Ah, now we're talking. Ingredients? Dosages, dangers, and side effects, this is it. Is the diary complete now? No. The author tested his work in a hidden laboratory. We must find out where it was. Please, find me more pages, Doctor. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Swan. Tell me, how do you see the world these days? Okay, since I collected all these pages, I actually gotta go look for the final page. Okay, we're gonna have to untrack. Uh oh, not to be confused for right now, but we need to untrack that area. Come on, hurry up. You know what? I gotta get the heck out of there. And get to the docks. Once we head to the docks, we're gonna cure those folks. Don't you know better? Hey! Better to do what? Leave me alone already, stupid man. Ow! I said leave me alone! If it's a fight you want, you got it.
I'm not able to Self. Stupid newborn. Don't even think about it. Man. Got some more blood. Switch to uh, spring. Help. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. You're dead. I can't believe I'm doing this. I get it. This is where we're at a dead end. Large box of pills. Still there. Now you're going down. Oh. 
It's locked. <laughs> yep. Can I not check the map, please? Don't go that way. I'm sure you can get out of there. That's just the one. Main area. Check one more time in there. To see whether there's a text in Braille or not. Okay. More Braille. I should bring this to Mason Swanborough. I know. So this is where I forgot about last time. This is despicable. Indeed. There's so many skeletons there. About time we get the heck out of there. Once again, we're going to go cure the citizens in the docks. And once that's done, we're going to go give that last message, Braille message, to Mason.
Oh my god. Blink your skulls. The skulls are back. What are you doing? All done. All good for now. He's annoying. Please spot it. Watch out, boys. My game is loading right now. Watch out for the poison gas. Poison gas is so draining your health. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? here leave me alone yeah I may be fast but that doesn't mean like I don't have feelings
Finally. Okay. Someone's flying around. Hey, Booth. You again. What you... have you heard? It used to be. Do you need me? Yeah. So you can sell them on the black market. Sorry. I'll only provide you with exactly what you need. Fair enough, Dr. Reed. That cost me nothing to ask. Of course not. Goodbye. Right. Who else besides? We gotta find Ronnie Grader. The area where we confronted John Hampton. My god, that's a whole lot of annoying stuff. The blinkers are the worst. Take that, and that. First, these prewins call me a leech, and they also called the skulls a leech too. By Jove, why in the world? Why the heck would they have to call me a leech in the first place? Your turn, prewin Psychos. I'm just an econ, a vampire, not a leech. Leeches are insects that can suck people's blood. <laughs> Sounds like a grunt, if you ask me. Young Ekron? Sure can, punk. You don't scare me, man. You seriously think I'm gonna die? Not today, buddy. I'm trying to endure pain. That's why I hate those bad icons. They're seconds, they're so annoying. Okay. Now that I dealt with them. For now, let's go. Frames are going down. But stay focused, John.
No, it's gone upstairs. Ronnie's being protected literally. Good evening, sir. I am not safe. I should never have come back here. My life is in danger. I know it. You're much safer here than in that contaminated area. Bullets kill people quicker than diseases and epidemics, Dr. Reed. Do you have recent news of Sean Hampton's shelter? No. I've tried to stay away from shelters and obvious places. Who knows who may be spying and trying to spot me there? What can you tell me about this district? The East End Docks only knows one rule. Dog eat dog and blood calls for blood. Ugh. The gang will have their revenge on me one way or another. All right, new hint available. What can you tell me about the locals? Most people would say that Sean Hampton and Tom Watts are good men who try to sort things out. But for me, the real boss around there was my best friend, Jack Gillingham. Jack Gillingham, you say? Everyone Jack ran Gillingham. Being Jack. He was a rock, a mountain even. He feared nothing. Nothing. Your friend Jack has something to do with you fleeing to the contaminated area where I found you. I want to know more. Jack is dead. That's all you need to know. Dead because of me. So much violence. So much sorrow. All of that because I refuse to be insulted again. No man can predict the exact outcome of his actions. It's the curse we have to live with. We can only gamble and do what we think is best. Perhaps you're right. The district was doomed before I was born. And but I cannot stop myself thinking that Jack died right. for me. Why do you say that? After I killed that gang member, the wet boot boy suspected Jack. And being loyal and all, he did not refute the accusation. Ah, uh, no. Right. Don't have to do that for now. Oh, I gotta do, do you this. need help, Heal. Mr. Grader? Death by disease or by bullet? Do I really have to choose? No. Well, I have nothing to stop the bullets, but this should make you feel better. You have a strange sense of humor, Dr. Reed, but thanks anyway. No problem. Goodbye, Mr. Grader. Take care. All right. Let's see here. Now all the folks are healed. Now let's go back and... We gotta go see Mason. Right now, folks. Three wins. Oh look, a train. At least that's not the Mugen train. You know that that reminds me of Demon Slayer, that movie that I just saw. I've seen that movie for the last year or so. It's just really awesome. You're going down. That hurt. <laughs> cool. It only takes ten seconds. I use spring. So then, let's let's just switch this to back to Shadow Veil. I like it even better.
You switch weapons on the left and right on the control pad. See that fancy clothes? This one's at the top! Leave me alone. Why is, why does it take so long to load? It takes probably like ten seconds. Just, I am really not a witch. Vampire strain. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is no place for you. We gotta go see Mason. Just kill the beast first. Then we can go open that door up. What's up with you? Countering would help. going and I bring that last braille note to Mason hello there Clayton going on in this district I don't know what Good evening, Mr. Swan. Is it you? Wandering in this part of town at night, you're either brave or a fool. What can I do for you? To Here is another page of the formula for the cure for blindness. Give it to me? Yes. Brilliant. I'm going to give you the location and the code you will need to find the cure, but you have to listen to me first. Why? What is it? If you find the proof that this treatment for blindness is real, I want to try it, do you understand? No matter the risks. Risks? What have you read in these pages that you're not telling me? You already know what you need to know. I trust you, Dr. Reed. We share the same passion for science. Please, bring back the formula. Seems like we're gonna go... find the formula. Goodbye. That's in the sewers. Tell me, how do you see the world these days? All right, folks, we're heading into the we're heading back to the sewers.
Okay, we're gonna fight these premium dudes. That's a dozen spell. Okay, we're heading to the laboratory right now so that we can find the cure for the blindness for Mason because he's blind, literally. can't craft in here, so we're gonna go inside. Now we've got that code from, from Mason. Okay, retrieve the potion recipe in the laboratory. Door has been unlocked. That's good. Do 
enemy with a skull at a level 20. <laughs> Chemist diary. Give it to Mason Swarm Room. Better pick your poisons. No, they must go crap. Cold. I think I'm better off by giving this to Mason. Oh, let's check our map. Alright, we're good. Let's go inside that territory. Going the wrong way, dude. Good evening, Miss. Is it you? Yes, Tell it's me. Man. How do you see the world these days? What can I? I have found the secret laboratory, and I have the formula. And the author of the diary? Did you meet him? Yes. He was badly disfigured. Nothing more than a beast. And I cannot guarantee it wasn't connected to his experiments. I don't care. Give me the formula, Doctor. Here it is. But please, be very careful. 
You're yeah, entering sure. uncharted territories here. This is what science has always been about, Dr. Reed. Thank you, thank you so much. I can't say it's been a pleasure, but we're both scientists, and I am grateful you asked me to undertake this search for you. I have something for you, then. It is the most precious thing I have to give, even more important than the Swanborough secret recipe. There is really no need for payment. Please have it, Dr. Reed, I insist. I'm sure you'll find it more useful than I would. Yeah, here we go. The cellar thing. Goodbye, Mr. Swan. All right. What kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this late Inven hour? Investigation is done. Totally done, folks. Yeah. Now we can go back. We're gonna go back to West End. That's it. We're going back to West End, folks. Come on, Barrett, you know the game. You pay for peace of mind. Who distributes flowers? Hello, oh, Cat again. As long as you have the money. Now it's time to ask the folks. Let's talk to Calhoun. Good evening, Doctor. Is it not a little too late to be trading? On the contrary, it is the perfect hour. Believe me, my friend, it is always at night that you meet the most fascinating characters. But what about the epidemic? The bombs and raids, and all the random violence. Please, sir, this is London, England. We will prevail. And if a bomb must fall on my shop, then I'll be there to hear it falling. So you prefer to work at night? Oh, I also enjoy a sunny day like everybody else. But the night always has a certain je ne sais quoi of its own. Well. So, did you try the restaurant I recommended? Oh, yes. I can't thank you enough, my dear doctor. Exquisite, but expensive. But what oh, is money. money made for, if not for little pleasures? I'm glad you enjoyed the place. I do, doctor. I do. Thank you again. Oh, hint failed. <laughs> you shouldn't do that. Do you have any family nearby? Not since my parents died. I'm London's lone gourmet. Really? But you seem to be such a pleasant and sociable fellow. I'm afraid the real hedonist has to be sometimes. I discovered ecstasy as a solitary pleasure, but it does not mean it can't ever be shared. London's lone gourmet. What a strange title. I used that name in my early years when I was a food critic, and I kept it. Yeah. Uh, the first hint failed. That's what happens. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? Well, not really. Wait, now that you mention it, I don't see the McPhersons in my favorite restaurants. 
They love delicate meals too, you understand. Thank you. It may be nothing, but I'll investigate anyway. Where do they live? They have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of the railway bridge. There is a courtyard, if I remember rightly. All right. Goodbye. Let's see. Okay, I gotta go talk to Charlotte. But for now, we gotta do the quest. Definitely Ashbury's daughter. Of course, I gotta go use my map. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, just face it right here. Go, don't. Stay freaking focused. Anything to connect me to the city anymore? We meet again, Mr. Kimura, in a more peaceful situation. Dr. Reed, still visiting London by night? We must both be nocturnal animals, you and I. After your captivity, I thought you'd be more cautious. Breathing the cold night air helps calm my mind, sir. I've had the most frightening nightmare since I escaped that filthy jail. How is the situation in the West End? I've heard rumors about armed men patrolling and fighting infected citizens in these very streets. I was lucky they didn't shoot me when I was abducted. May I ask you what you do for a living, Mr. Kimura? I am... I was... a landlord. A wealthy one. And... not a very kind one, I realized recently. Why this sudden epiphany? Is it because of your near-death experience? I was already feeling nostalgic about Weymouth, my hometown. With recent events, I'm thinking about going back there. Right. What can you tell me about your abduction? If you really want to know, I was locked in that building for three or four days. My jailer was insane, mumbling about sacrifice and voices. What did he say about voices? He constantly whined about the voice of his master, ordering him to do terrible things. He wanted to silence the voice by offering blood. My blood. Whoa. And why didn't he sacrifice you? That was the weirdest part. He claimed to spill blood was not enough. It had to be done when some stars were aligned. Which stars? That's the whole point. He wanted me to talk to him about some Red Queen configuration or constellation. I've never heard of such an astronomical term. Okay. Goodbye. Let's go. I almost forgot what it feels like. area hello again Venus Jonathan you're still I'm sure you can spare me a few minutes for old time's sake of course you may enter Jonathan yeah I remember when Mary came here with her husband and her son Venus Crossley that's her it's a pleasure to see you again, Venus. So you return from the war in one piece, too. Thank God. My Clarence is back home, too. That's How the is the old Ross? Probably outside, chasing ghosts and chimeras. Chimeras? One from Formidable Alchemist? Since returned from the war, you know.
How have you been since the last time we met? How long has it been? Three years now? I've done my duty. Like all British women. You have no idea what it was like to wait for months without knowing if I'd still be a wife or a widow. I understand. Luckily, this part of town has been saved from the worst of the bombings, from what I've seen. Yes, and it's also true about the epidemic. The flu has killed here too, of course, but not on such a large scale as in other parts of town. Wow. Have you noticed anything peculiar about the neighborhood recently? You mean except for your return to town? No. Oh, and again, Jonathan, please accept my condolences for your sister. Thank you, Venus. It was so sudden, and I've been so busy, I haven't spoken to anyone about it. I wish I could have assisted at the funeral, but, you know, it's been so quick. And what with the epidemic in the streets? There's no need to apologize, my dear. It's normal, considering the circumstances. No, it's not. I am sure that Clarence has not even thought to present you his condolences. He is too busy with his penny dreadful stories. Why is my return so surprising? It's more an unexpected happy end than a surprise. You and Clarence, back from the war. You have no idea how hard it's been for me. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? The McPhersons. I heard they locked themselves in their own house. They could just be afraid of getting sick. Perhaps you're right. But if I were you, I'd pay them a visit. A big house, reachable through a courtyard, to the north of the railway bridge. True. Goodbye for now. At least you survived the Great War. I feared the worst. Gotta reach the second source of the infection. Or Let's go upstairs. So sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Invitation is needed to enter this building. That can't be. Emily wanted to. No sign of a struggle. It seems Charlotte's friend knew the killer and let him in. Who could have come? Blood. I should follow the trail. All we gotta do is follow Emily's blood trail. I didn't get hurt. But there's her blood trail, seriously. Winter skull. There. Come on. Still gotta follow the trail of blood. Let's go inside Venus's house one more time. Hello, 
Hello. At least you survived the Great War. I feel you. Shillings. Codeine. We know that you are always welcome here. Come on. Start sensing down. Oh, what's this? Probably in the sewers. Who are you? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. I'm the Marquis de Bois Colombe, and I strongly invite you to find your own game, sir. I'm not here to sustain myself. I'm currently investigating the death of a young woman killed by a vampire. A young woman killed by a vampire? Oh, <laughs> you're joking, right? Oh, I do love the British sense of humor. And who exactly are you? I am Jacques Michel Guillaume Florimond, the Marquis de Bois Colombe, at your service, oh, my dear cousin. You're French, but your English is quite good. I was born in France, sir, but I consider myself a traveler of this world. Oh, wow. Mm, so he reminds me of Jean Pierre so Polarep from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Though oh, he's got a French accent, that's for sure. Dear cousin, are we related? We could be of the same blood, my dear. I tend to consider all Econs as family, don't you? I followed the trail of blood from her room to here. Oh, you're referring to that young woman. Yes, the meeting turned messy. I'm afraid I ruined my last wedding goat. So you admit you murdered her? I admit nothing, my good sir. I only kill her. regret the blood of that girl staining my clothes. Oh, blood can be so messy. What happened? She wanted to become one of us. Not the first time I have received such a proposal, but uh, I must admit her direct approach tempted me. And then what? The body rejected my blood. It happens, you know, sometimes even with voluntary prey. At least her gurglings brought me some fun until the artery burst. Whoa. I believe you, sir. Emily's diary confirms your statement. Oh, Emily was her name. Quite charming. Well, mystery solved then. Yes, I suppose so. You can go. And so can you. Farewell, sir. May you enjoy the spectacle of this fallen city as much as I do. Okay, now we're gonna go talk to Charlotte right now. <laughs> so Jean Pierre wasn't a. M no, no, no. So. Not Jean Pierre. Who is it? Is Jacques? Probably. Come on, hurry up. Good evening, Miss. And good evening. What do you think about this part of town? I was raised here, and I suppose it feels like home. You grew up in this part of town too, did you not? 
Yes, I was born a few streets away. A small world, is it not? Did you ever imagine that my mother was your neighbor all that time? That you could have met her in the dark alley at night? You won't trick me twice, young lady. We both know Lady Ashbury never hunts or attacks prey at random. Come on, Doctor. Don't tell me you never thought about that possibility. <laughs> her fangs on your neck. Oh, are you blushing, Dr. Reed? <laughs> Is there something that's bothering you? Too much He's selfishness and individualism for my taste. Even when there was no epidemic. Even if that's partly true, may I remind you that many charitable institutions are financed by the selfish and filthy rich. I suppose you're right. But society must reform and renew itself or we are all done for. What exactly has your mother told you about me? Your name and profession, obviously. And the mystery about your maker. I'm sorry to hear about what happened to your sister, sir. Mother says it was not your fault. Does it not scare you to know what I am? What your mother is? Why should it? My mother is the most compassionate woman. Must I be wary of her, Dr. Reed? Or you? Can tell. Perhaps it's wise for a mortal never to totally trust a vampire. Your mother herself told me that we Ekon are creatures of deception. Maybe it's because we seem so... alive. That may be true for a naive girl, but I have the best teacher when it comes to getting rid of an insistent immortal. Your mother Here's is not like field. any other vampire I've met. I believe she thinks the same about you, Dr. Reed. Nope. I have found out what happened to your friend, Emily. I can handle the truth. There's no need to hide the bloody details. Your friend was planning to become a vampire. She thought she'd met an honest one and made a deal with him. Unfortunately, Emily did not survive the process. My mother told me many times about the risks of being turned. I often suspected she exaggerated the danger to avoid me being tempted. No, the risk is real. Have you any idea what a body has to endure? To become an organism entirely consumed by its need to process and recombine blood. I should never have talked to Emily about vampires. I never thought she'd actually try it without me. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Here, take this for your discretion. That Charlotte steak. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullaney's. A nice family who live in a big house near the park in the eastern part of this neighborhood. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best... She's been quite busy the... Okay. Now we're gonna have to reach the second... The first and second source of the infections right now, so here I go. <laughs> okay. There. Why are vampire hunters sniffing around here? I need to find out what they're after. Oh crud, free wins. Now we're gonna face off free wins. What are you doing? Draining my blood away? Yeah, those things Number. Ooh, yeah. 
that's a pretty old brawler right here. I'll to be totally dead. Whoa. Oh, what are you trying to do to me? Cannot enter. Can't enter her. What are they laughing about? Inside this, area. this woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage. Cleanse the first source of the infection. Silver fork. He had his tongue removed and his eyes gouged out. He was a victim of brutal torture. Ew. That's harsh and brutal. Who in the world would do such a thing? Oh, holy crap! You thought I was dead too, didn't oh, you? Elsa Mulaney. No, I was just pretending. Doris told me I could have been a great actress. You have killed too. your family. They mocked my talent. Oh, we got a battle, Elsa Mulaney. She's. She pukes up poison multiple times. Best to dodge. Now she's getting on my nerves. She's resistant to blood based attacks and, and shadow attacks. What are you trying to do? Get on my nerves or something? Gas are draining my health literally slow. I'm gonna be done like dinner. I don't, I don't heal. Yeah, 
Hey, don't go near it. Seen such a radical mutation. Could it be a new stage in the disease's evolution? Yes, could be. I don't know. I'm literally running low on health right now. Now we're on to the second source of the infection. In fact, I'm running low on health. You gotta gather the source of information. Still. Don't go back. Just stay focused, Jonathan. Stay friggin' focused. Whoa. What's up, bug? There's a letter from the Fletcher Acting School. So, this girl took lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher Acting School. Piano. <clears throat> Doris Fletcher, she's an actress. She's been teaching Elsa how to act by playing possum. Well, in other words, she just gave me a bit of a jump scare. <laughs> that building is under quarantine. Could this be what I'm looking for? It could be, but gotta go open to the other. Go to the other side. Those ill-formed skulls are my worst enemies. A beast? Oh my god, not those big beasts. Oh my god, what are you doing? I'm almost down. I'm literally down to my last life. I don't know which far I'm about to be. Leave me alone. Ow! Darn it! About to die. Don't blow up on me. Good rips. See my skill, guys. Fire executioners are the worst. Please give me some blood. I need more. I can fill up my health. Not have to worry about wasting blood. Some shillings and some bullets. No, no, no. You 
You're going back to the wrong way. To the area where it's locked from the other side. Gotta fight these pre win dudes. And why do you keep loading all the time? I don't get it. I should be dealing with these guys. Shoot me, you pre win dorks. Took out those pre ones. Now let's. Now can we go back already, please? See if I can get up there. Shillings. I'm gonna check some for some web for a weapon. Let's see here. Free one stake. Thirty five stun. Details. We need one more aluminum part. So let's check the details. This is higher. Charlotte's done. I'd rather go with the pre one for now. Why not? An ill-formed Dazzle Skull is down there right after we get out of the balcony. One shoe is missing. I seriously hate those, those disgusting skulls. They spit out poison at you. Kaboom. Skulls, get out of my face. That hurt. What's wrong with you? Think about it, buddy. You're dead. <laughs> now then, let's let's erase that. 
Alright, now that we opened the door to the other side, in here, let's go inside this building and cleanse the source of the infection. Remarkable pump action shotgun. I'm gonna test this bad boy out. Which is higher. You need. Oh, okay. Never mind. Keep looking. Priscilla McPherson. Roger McPherson. Oh. The skull the McPherson's. <laughs> They're just arguing. <laughs> now we're gonna fight these. Well, that includes Roger and Priscilla. Oh no. What are you doing? Stop that. Oh. Two skulls. A husband and a wife. That hurts you, stupid skull. She disappears. It's better you avoid it. Enough. What are you doing? That was so annoying. Try this on precise, will you? Now I'm getting more blood. Ha! Ah. You're next, Priscilla. He's disappearing. Oh my god, I'm getting covered in poison. And she explodes. Wait. Okay, it's clear. It's totally clear. Now let's pick this up. A love letter from Doris Fletcher. So the husband had an affair with Doris Fletcher. Exactly. Let's go to Doris Fletcher's theater. Doris Fletcher seems to be the missing link here. It can't just be a coincidence. I should go to her acting school. Yeah. We gotta go to her acting school. to the theater and beat and meet up with Doris. Where is this located? Theater. In front of Lady Ashbury's mansion. Look at it. Uh oh, it's free ones. Well, they drain your blood away. Go, go. 
Level 29. Back, demon. Back. Stop that. See? Told you this is why he's annoying. He drains away your blood. You sure? Why do they have fruits and vegetables there? Bananas, carrots, beans, pears, green pears, apples, lemons, beans, nuts, and fish. Alright. Are they contaminated? How exactly can you tell if they're contaminated or not? Yeah. Leech spotted! Watch out! We're we gonna go talk to Lady Ashbury. Econs. What are you doing? Ow, it didn't hit. After that loaded screen, he hit me with a blood spear. These Econs are strong. Killed the pre ones. <laughs> they got a great fencing sword. I don't remind you of Fura Bradley from Full Metal Alchemist when he uses his, his fencing sword. But I digress. <sighs> Let's go see Lady Ashbury. Alright. Here's Lady Ashbury. It's locked, all right. Yeah, she is. Good evening, Jonathan. I'm still investigating from inside the Ascalon Club. Can we talk? Of course, my dear. I have investigated new sources of infection, and I may have found a new type of scowl. One suffering from heavy mutations that is extremely contagious. Scowls come in various forms, you know. They are simply degenerate versions of their makers. I believe these families are different, and I'm currently pursuing a lead. I know I can find the true source of contagion by finding who created these creatures. That would be great news. Be very careful, my dear, when dealing with such creatures. There are many paintings adorning the walls here. Yes. Did you paint them? No, my dear. But she didn't paint them. I have had a long time. If she didn't to paint those, who did? I'm currently working on what could be my greatest masterpiece. What is this masterpiece? Your portrait, my dear Jonathan. It will be my gift to you, if I ever have time to finish it. Have you met any famous painters? Are you trying to divine my age by cross-checking historical dates, my dear? That's a devious parlor trick. Well, Elizabeth, I've tried my best. Don't I deserve some reward, at least? Well, if you must know, I even posed for the greats. 
Now that you know it, you may recognize me when visiting museums. How is your investigation going? I have decided to explore beyond the dictates of reason. What do you mean? You may on occasion find this house closed when you visit me. If so, it is because I have gone undercover. Sort of. Who are you going to surveil? I hope you're not considering spying on McCullum or the guard of Prewan. No. I intend to ask a few questions in parts of town I rarely venture into. Dirty places where a delicate lady like myself should never be seen. When will you return? As soon as possible. And I don't intend to stay away for long. Goodbye, my dearest. Goodbye, my beloved. <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's get out of there. And go after Doris Fletcher. All good. So, there we go. Oh my god, a Volcod. Grabs you by the throat, then bites you in the neck. Your blood is now. And he just like run down. Yeah, you're so annoying. Gotta run at you. Punk. <laughs> We're heading into the Finsbury Theater. Gotta find access to the theater. Because this is locked. Got nothing but pre when dudes in there. Okay, let's... let's just go back. I don't have time to talk to Dr. Swansea right now, so...
What's up there? screen okay better find a way to get to the theater but right now we're going the wrong way That's it. Gotta do it. There's an open window on the second floor. I should be able to get in through that. Yeah. Second window. <coughs> so that's how it is. It's locked. It's friggin' locked. Turn there. So now we're gonna go in there. Let's check it one more time. Oh, there we all go. The highest one is where we're gonna go. Good grief. I forget this. Suicide note. Oh wow. Let's check it one more time. Whoa to you, nations of hypocrites. For in front of you stands the tall queen. You can Can that be Doris Fletcher's voice? Where does it come from? You're talking down there. Get away from me. She is to her kindness and beauty on front of the stage. Doris Fletcher's diary. 
Rogue skulls are patrolling. What I'm gonna do is take them out. Uh -oh. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> there she is. Who are you? You who dared enter my realm. Are you here to worship or mock me? I'm here to put an end to the vampire epidemic, Miss Fletcher. Ah. But Doris Fletcher is no more. She was consumed by this putrid no, flesh that now enshrouds her. You feel anger for what happened to you. But I can help you. I'm a doctor, Miss Fletcher. Doris Fletcher is no more. A split persona? All that remains are the dreams of the queen she was and the queen she'll be. Until then, all shall die. For that was her final. Wish. Oh my god, she has a sword. Oh, and arise and save your queen. She's got a sword. He's gonna be a real Touche. Touche. I can see the combo coming. Uh, 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 on guard. Uh, 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 she reminds me of a what? Oh no, I failed. I friggin' failed. She literally stabbed me while I was fighting off that annoying, ill infected skull. <laughs> Alright, folks, listen to me. Once I deal with Doris Fletcher, I will end the stream. By getting out of here alive. Alright. And then I have to rest after Doris Fletcher's. After I defeat Doris Fletcher. Okay? For the love of God, load already! Yes! Thank you. Oh man, now I have low blood. Why do I have to start off with a low amount of blood? I have this thirst for blood. Yeah, that is true. But we'll do it. You totally irritated me. Not lose to the light, nor fall like you. Kaboom. Okay. We're able to open the door from the other side. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to go evolve. Aren't I? No, I don't have to, but I'm willing to, to fight her one more time. But if it doesn't work out, 
again, I have to do rest to evolve and level up so that I can deal with her. Tick tock already means hurry up. For the love of hurry up. Yes, there we go. I'll deal with the pre ones. Now then, let's go back inside. <laughs> Hopefully this time I know I could beat her. All I gotta do is dodge her pattern by... Avoiding her slash attack. can't believe she has a sword. Dee dee dee, low please, dee dee dee. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go back and deal with Doris Fletcher. She's at a level 30. How exactly am I going to have to take her on? Nope. It's locked. Both are locked. Woe unto thee, son of Babylon! Ha ha ha! ha. Touche, sir! Yeah. Ha ha ha! I smell your fear! I think she has the ability to absorb damage. Ha! Yeah, I do it by powering. Resistance to blood based moves. Behold, Kinslayer, the disgrace of she. Oh my Watch god, she transforms. She be the queen again once they all share she's got a fate. disfigured arm my blade that has the ability to use poison god. attacks. She's got shadow moves now. Ah. Oh my god, knock it off. Just stop already, I'm getting really angry. Don't do that. 
Just leave me alone. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. No! Oh my god! You know what? Let's just rest so that we can evolve. This boss battle is by far the most uh, annoying. Let me just put it this way. This this is by far the most annoying boss battle of the game. How exactly are you going to defeat her when I'm at level 24? She takes me out easily. I should have taken it seriously. If I can do it, maybe I'll try it one last time. Oh no, the skulls are back. Hey! You bugger, bugger off now. That does it. Enough! I seriously hate those guys with a passion. Honestly, I totally, totally do. I told you not to touch that gas, Jonathan. I'm gonna do this for one last time. Yeah, probably not. I'll probably do that one last time. Because if it doesn't work out, I'll have to rest. Then I'll go back and play them. My blade into shall pierce your villainous heart. I smell your fear. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a wasp. They sense spear. Yeah, draining her blood does not help. Yeah, biting her will not help. Your hand is shaking. My hand isn't shaking, you know. I'm not gonna rest until I defeat you. Rolling. Behold, Kinslayer, the disgrace of she who was once renowned. Will she be the queen again once they all share her fate? Now she's gonna summon her friends. Better use my ultimate. Watch out for her arm. Kind of annoying. Kind of reminded me of Albert Wesker in his Your Ouroboros transformation. Yeah, her soul slash can be a real pain. My children, my More annoying dolls? Give me a break, will ya? What are you doing? Yes, and she grabs you. And then stabs you. In the world, would she be keep, does she keep doing this? I summon thee, my children. May spit kill. Right. When I use that shadow move, yes, you'll lose stamina no matter what. Just 
freaking fast. Gather some blood. Ha ah. ha. she keep summoning her friends? Knock it off already. Yeah, they easily die, but they can easily knock me out. But I'm poisoned. Alright, you're going down, lady. You're gonna get the fangs if you mess with me. gonna keep summoning what the god oh. okay when she raises her arms up would then do this counter you stop doing that I don't want to die no 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 please don't, don't do this I'm gonna get really angry fine I guess she throws up poison she's definitely a poison type all right Love of you? Really? Three of them? No infected skulls? How many is she gonna keep falling up skulls? Come on. I'm not gonna rest until I defeat you. You hear me? Stop that. And she's gonna get me. Oh my god, man, this is getting annoying. What are you trying to do to me? Oh my god, you're not getting anywhere. You're getting our butts kicked. Oh, almost there. One. Arise. Love of God, leave me alone. Four of them. Oh my God, there's four of them. You gotta be close. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. No, not even close. Yes! Oh, we got a remarkable save. I beg you, wait. What? I... I don't want to die. And I did not come to kill you, Miss Fletcher. Will you spare me then? Save this cadaverous carcass of mine. Wow. Does your heart beat a little faster now? You fancy me then, Doctor? No, Miss Fletcher. My dead heart will beat. For only one. Ah, is she pretty? 
Is she sweet and tender? To me, yes. Ah! I hate her already. I know. And this is partly why you must be destroyed. But you just said... That I did not come here to kill you, yes. But I realize now the threat you embody must be stopped. What are you doing? A lantern? What are you going to do with it? Remembered? Will you? You were Doris Fletcher, the greatest actress of her generation. No one can take that from you. Thank you. And farewell. Oh, my God. She burned herself to death. Farewell, Doris. Yeah, farewell, Doris. Bravo! So dramatic! Oh, crap. It's what McCollum it? again. McCollum! How strange I That's your arch enemy. Whenever I'm inquiring about that skull infestation. I mean you no harm. I'm not here for you. But once I put all the pieces of the and He's got two pre one henchmen coming in. I'm sure we'll have a little chat. You and me. Stay away from me, McCollum. You and all your war dogs. That I can't guarantee, Dr. Reed. But I'll let you go. For now. Yeah. He just escaped from the I stage. I should probably leave the theater right now. Yeah, you should probably leave the theater right now. Have to it's get out locked, of here. all right. Darn it, the door's locked. The West End should be safe now. But London is not. It would be wise to benefit from the Ascalon's protection while I continue my research during the Great Hunt. True. Very true. But what's in there? Clove like Essence. Oh, we got another diary? Another Doris Fletcher diary. Wow, go figure. Now we managed to escape from the clutches of the evil Mac Jeffrey McCollum. I'm better. I mean, how tough can she be when I'm at a level 24 and she's at a level 30? Seriously. And no matter how many ill-infected skulls I kill, in a few seconds, she calls them back just to support her and attack me. That's insane. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Alright. We still gotta escape from that theater outside. Yay! There's safer places to be than here. Whatever. Speaking! Support Ascalon Club against the guard of the pre -wins. But, oh my goodness. Yeah, the hideout is, so is Doris no just use. needed to be close to her audience to infect them. Contagion through skin. Very disturbing. Oh yeah. Uh, 
That's a lot of free win. We have to stop it. Ouch! Out of my way, you, you stupid vampire Ekon scum. I'm in a hurry right now, so don't mess with me. Gotta report to Lord Redgrave about Doris Fletcher. Gotta do it. Maybe I should leave the city. Yeah, I'm... Alright. Now let's tell Lord Redgrave about Doris. Change my mind, I'll talk to her about Doris. But after we talk to her about Doris, let's finish this. At least Lady Ashbury is healthy. Let's talk to her. Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I've been formally asked to witness your triumph, my dear. After all, isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it's you who insisted I join the Ascalon. Please forgive my giddiness. I'm just overcome by the thrill of finally being allowed within these hallowed halls. You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. Elizabeth Ashbury, only you can make me smile in these difficult times. And the same to you, Jonathan Reed. Now go have your little chat with the chairman. I can see he's practically bursting to hear your report. All right. We're going to go see Lord Redgrave right now. But in any case, I'm off. There we go. Perhaps we should change some of the club's rules if we survive all of this. We need to soften some of our laws concerning red. True. Where's Redgrave? Lord Finney. There he is, there he is. Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. I did my best. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Ekon he deserves to be. As you wish, my lord. Good. Now go. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson estate. 
Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Okay. Your word is my command. All right. We're gonna reach Temple Church. To the, we're gonna go to the Temple Church. Right after we rest. Okay. But for now. Are you all right, Jonathan? Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson. To make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? I'd like your advice on the matter. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? I do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and only capable of creating skulls. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Thank you, Elizabeth. All right. We're going to rest to evolve. And after we rest, we'll end the stream. It looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sign. Okay. We'll stop for now. That hurts. you off. Because she know a fight that. Stop that. No, I'm going to fail. I'm about to fail. Oh. 
are you doing? Just leave me a alone. Can't you see I'm trying to rest? That was close. What can I say? What's out of here? Come on, let's craft something. Let's check one more time. Oh no. One more time. That's it. Never mind. Let's just... We're gonna rest, folks. Got out. Got a lot of XP. Hmm. All right, let's see here. Autophagy. You trade the instant health gain for a greater regeneration. You trade more blood to heal yourself instantly and gain an additional boost on your health regeneration. for generation probably need to use that Maybe some more blood Increasing our health. Bow, prowess. All right. It's all good, guys. The following night. Still healthy. 
table. It's healthy. And sanitized. Uh oh. Rufus Kingsbury has been infected. He's in fatigue. Oh, well, let's stop. Okay, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Gabriel Gaming 5000K. We're going to be heading to uh, on our we're going to be doing our next mission in part 10. Toodles.